specialist we say because you know why it is the first visit so we must make the first visit of our excellency your excellency and also madam mommy very very memorable do you all want to make it memorable yes so we have a lot of exciting things in store for you right Again, thank you very much. We are very excited to show you the uniqueness of the mall and, of course, Tokyo Street. We are very proud indeed because this is the first time for a shopping mall in Malaysia that we transform a space into a Japanese precinct. And when we conceptualize Tokyo Street, actually the research kind of confirmed what we already know. That is, we Malaysians, we all love Japanese arts, culture, food, and of course, shopping. Bon Sri is our number one shopping queen here in Pavilion Kuala Lumpur. And of course, as we launched Tokyo Street back in 2011, hence today, momentous 11th anniversary celebration here in 2022. Can you believe it, Bon Sri? It's been 11 years. And I still remember back then when we launched it, we had the former ambassador of Japan, Mr. Shigeru Nakamura, who was here with us. And again, Kwan Sri also in her lovely red kimono. We were all so, so excited. And all Malaysians join us in the celebration of Tokyo Street back in July 2011. And now, 11 years later, we are all still in awe of Tokyo Street. Am I right? Give it up for all the hard work. And again, the support from all our shoppers as well as all of you. I was overwhelmed by the wonderful Japanese drum performances and the very, how can I say, high energetic welcome speech. So I learned a few hesitant in delivering a speech, I learned in the official manner, my apology for this. I came to Malaysia at the end of a year and I have been told from lots of people that Tokyo Street has been one of the major platforms to promote Japanese culture in Malaysia since its opening in 2011. I would like to take this opportunity to express my heartfelt gratitude to Pavilion Kuala Lumpur for their contribution in promoting both traditional and contemporary Japanese culture to local Malaysians as well as visitors from around the world through Tokyo even though the 10th anniversary was not celebrated due to the COVID-19 last year, I am happy that this year's celebration is taking place when we also celebrate the 40th anniversary of the Lutheran policy since when the Mauritian government had introduced the policy in 1982. I would like to thank everyone involved for organizing this event in this memorable year. The Lukwisa policy is an important cornerstone of today's excellent Japan-Malaysia relations, and events like today perfectly symbolizes the cordial relations enjoyed by the people of the two countries. Ladies and gentlemen, Tokyo Street is a very friendly and attractive place for everyone from all walks of life to feel as if they are in Japan with a wide variety of stores offering typical Japanese food, fashion, and variety of goods. We hope that after walking through Tokyo Street here in Pavilion, many Malaysians will actually have the chance to fly to Japan and experience the streets, not only in Tokyo, but also many other beautiful and interesting places in Japan. We are sure that the beautiful sceneries of Japan, whether in spring, summer, autumn or winter, will really take your breath away. Oh, no, no, no. 